Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we're gonna be updating some apps here on the newest Mac OS. So, on the top left hand side, you guys will see your Apple logo. On your Apple logo, just click on it and you guys will see this third option where it says App Store. Now, in your App Store, you guys will see App Updates. However, System Updates will always be under System Preferences and then you guys will see a window for updates. Right now, we're gonna go right into your App Store. Once you click on your App Store, you will see the very last option where it says Updates. So right now we can see updates for Final Cut Pro, GarageBand, WhatsApp, and iMovie. So if you guys want to know exactly what these updates are, we can just click on more. And it's going to tell us, for example, for Final Cut Pro, these are the things that are being updated. And you guys can update one at a time or all together at the same time. So if we go right up here on the top right hand side, you will see update all. You guys can just hit that or hit one at a time right now. Now let's say you guys don't see the GarageBand, Final Cut Pro or iMovie update right now, right here. Don't worry about it. We can just go into a search and we're going to type in, for example, Final Cut Pro. Let's just look for that. And we should see this coming up. And right here, as you guys can see, Final Cut Pro is going to come out. And instead of get or anything like that, you will see update. So just hit on update to update that. So right now what I'm going to do is hit update for iMovie. That's because Final Cut Pro at this point in time, I'm using it. So I just have to close it up before I hit update just to make sure there's no problems. So I'm going to go back to updates and I'm going to update GarageBand and what's up. Okay. So GarageBand, we can see the versions 10.3.3. That's the newest one that we're updating to. What's up? This is the latest versions. You guys can see 49.40. And then we have Final Cut Pro, which is version 10.4.7 and iMovie 10.1.13. How long will these updates take? Well, it depends on your internet speed. The biggest one will be your Final Cut Pro. And that's because you're looking at 2.9 gigs. So for each one of these, you guys can see exactly how much gigs each one will take just by clicking on more. You guys can see this one's a gig and all that. So it does really depend on your internet speed, how fast it is. So right now I have this one for two gigs. Yeah, so my internet speed's running okay-ish right now. That's why it's taking this long. I'm gonna hit update on Final Cut Pro as well. If I was in the middle of a project in any of these apps, I would not update it. And just in case, before you guys update, if you're not 100% sure about your projects and everything, just do a Time Machine backup. Time Machine is something pre-built on your Mac, so you guys can set that up. I have a whole separate video about that. But what Time Machine does is that we can actually go back in time even before we did this update. So that's really great. And then it backs up your entire Mac, apps, Mac OS, everything, everything. All your files, photos, everything, everything. Um, anyways, right now it's downloading these guys. Final Cut Pro, yes, that's going to be one of the biggest ones. And we're just going to wait for that to be done. Once the app's complete, you will see this. Open, 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 open. That's exactly what you should see once they're done updating and from there you guys can just open it up and keep going so i'm just gonna open final cut pro it should load up slowly there we go and here it's gonna tell us what's new it's gonna be the same thing for every single one of the apps that we just did right now okay so it's pretty good that they tell us what happened <laughs> besides us reading there this is a little bit easier right on the eyes we can just go and continue and that would be it that would be it for this video. Now it tells me to update library. Yeah, that, that always happens with major updates and we're good to go. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.